telling my testimony in an analogy I experienced a few weeks ago. Um, I'm, uh, I, I go camping a lot, so um, recently I went up towards the Cumberland Plateau and um, with my with all my friends and everything, and we were started hiking up the the mountain. And you know I'm a big kid, so it, it gets tiresome as you go up. Um, there's twigs. You know, I, I've tripped a few times, clumsy me. Um, but then whenever I got to the top, um, it was breathtaking. Words can't describe. I took pictures. It, it, it's nothing compared to what I saw. It was the most beautiful sight ever. Um, just the rolling hills, and I just I had a moment with God uh, sitting up there on top of the mountain, um, seeing the blessings and the beauty that He's created. And as I started going down, um, I was just in such a spiritual mood um, that I started thinking of my testimony. As most of you know, I, I've had a, a rough past. Um, I made decisions I shouldn't have made. Um, but then I realized that that mountain is exactly what I had to get over to get where I am now. Um, you know, sitting at the bottom of the hill, um, where my life was at its lowest, um, it, it, I had to make that, it was hard, but I had to make the decision to start trekking up the mountain. And once I made that decision, um, it, it was hard at first, you know, it was steep, but um, God got me through it. Um, there were twigs that the devil put in front of put in my path, uh, stumps, whatever, rocks, I fell sometimes, but God picked me up, dusted me off, and he helped me through it, and it's hard work getting up that mountain, but um, the reward at the top is breathtaking, you know, I don't think I'm at the top, but I don't think I'll ever be at the top of that mountain, until I die, and the ultimate reward is heaven. Um, I've got a few verses. Um, one is in Psalm 56, verse 11. It says, In God I trust. I, in God I trust. I will not fear. What can man do to me? God, or the devil will use worldly influences as the twigs and the rocks in your way. And y y at times you'll feel like uh, you just want to go all the way back down the mountain because it's just easier. You know, uh, the, uh, I want to do it. I want to do a little uh, demonstration right here. Can I have a chair and one volunteer? Can I have one volunteer? Okay. Okay, Kinsey. All right. Um, so I need you to stand in this chair. Try and pull me up on top of the chair. <laughs> okay. Now, watch this. <laughs> it's easier to be pulled off of the chair than it is to be to pull someone up. It's easier to fall and get out of, like, be at the top and then fall. It's easier to do that than it is to have pull someone up into God's will. Okay, thank you. Alright. Um, my second verse comes from Matthew 17, verse 20. For I assure you, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you will tell this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. You've got to have faith that God will help you through all those moments, getting up the mountain. Um, oh, I had something. Um, it says in the song, um, How Great Is Our God, I think, I think that's the song, um, it's, God can, uh, melt mountains, God can do anything, if you just have faith and trust that he will help you through it. Um, Ephesians 2 verse 8 says, For by grace you are saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It's God's gift. 
God has given you the gift of the view, the top of the mountain. And <clears throat> Hebrews 11, verse 6 says, Now without faith it is impossible to please God, for the one who draws near to him must believe that he exists and rewards those who seek him. So, my last question, it's a rhetorical question. Um, are you ready, if you haven't already started he trekking up the mountain, do you want to? Or are you, are you ready? And if you ever have any questions, you can come to me or any of the FCI leaders, Emily, uh, Johnny, Maya, Daya. Um, you can just talk to any of us.